Uh, it'd be nicer to be able to get in if it was higher. Um, kind of the occupational health aspect of it when you're putting in a, a 40 gallon water heater that's been in there for some time it's a little bit cumbersome to not be able to stand up and pull that up and get it in if you have to lay down and get it in uh, getting it out you need two people um, you have to get on your knees to get in to get parts if I want to grab something from in the middle I have to get on my knees on um, both stuff to get in there it makes it a little bit more difficult um, vice versus the the Dodge van the way that it can stand up you can put in three to four water heaters standing up inside there I put full bathtub and shower enclosures in that tall van so that makes it easier it's also nicer the fact that if you're working during the day and it's raining you want to be able to go inside and maybe take apart a faucet or take apart a sink you can then take that inside the van work inside somewhere where you're not getting rained on we use some easy ups so if I'm working outside and I have to work off the back it's nice to have a platform and I'll put an easy up in this area or put a drop cloth or something across the top so the doors are kind of helping. The only part that's a, that's a drawback is having double doors that open on the side instead of a sliding door because then it, it, it just limits the amount that you can get in there. kind of gets irritating that the door is falling on you so you're constantly pushing them back. It's got the smaller V8 motor in it so it's a little light when it comes to towing and things like that. If it was a higher end, I think the 3500, if you had a higher V8, a little bit more towing capacity would be good. Typically I tow is a, a dual axle dump trailer, also a hydro excavation, so we're doing a vac trailer. Um, we also do ditch witches um, and small excavators as well.